Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great today. I have a great side dish for you today. This is pickled bean sprouts. In Vietnamese, we call this nhu ya he. It is traditionally served with rice and braised pork, but you can use it and serve it as a side salad or use it in a rice paper roll. It is completely vegan. It is very sweet, it's crunchy, a little bit salty, but very tasty. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so that way you'll be notified when I have a new video uploaded. So let's get started by preparing the vegetables. So the vegetable I'm using today for the pickle bean sprouts are of course the bean sprouts. This has been soaked in water and clean rinse and dry. If you would like to take out the flower stem or the end, you can do that. So I'll pinch off the end of these guys right here. And again, make sure that when you buy it from the store, soak it in water, cold water, and lightly toss it. Don't massage this because these guys are really fragile and then just um, let it dry and take out the end if you need to. So put that aside. So that will go into our bowl right here. The rest of the vegetable, these are the Chinese uh, chives. They're very garlicky and oniony, um, comes from the onion family. So um, again, these have been um, soaked in water and clean as well. So, so cut it like that. Estimate is fine. And these guys toward the end, I don't want that. So put that aside. And I want a little bit of ginger. Um, the ginger is just add extra flavor into the pickle. Julienne it. Try to stack it like this and then just julienne it. Bell peppers. And I only want half of the bell pepper in here. I don't want the full. So now I want to make the water vinegar solution to pour on top of our vegetable. First thing I want to add is a quarter cup of sugar, one tablespoon of salt, and half cup of vinegar. Pour that in. And there's no need to cook the vinegar water solution if you add in the sugar, salt, and vinegar first and just, and just mix like this for about 20 seconds then the sugar and the salt will dissolve. So there's no need to cook the vinegar and water solution. So that's... Just mix it until it, all the sugar has dissolved. And then what I'm going to add for the amount of sugar and salt, I'm going to add in four cups of water. So just continue to do this here. That is four cups. This is four cups of water, half cup of vinegar, some salt, and sugar. So this is my water solution. If you prefer a little bit more sweet, you can add sugar. But the first time that you're making this, I would recommend a um, smaller amount of sugar. And then, then you can adjust the sugar and the salt content for the next try. Once you have the water vinegar solution, go ahead and pour that over into your vegetable. Try to get all your vegetables submerged into the vinegar water solution. If it doesn't, you can add additional water. Just mix these guys up. Mix it very gently. 
what you want to do is get a lid and cover. This guy needs to be covered for a period of four hours and then you can transfer it into a mason jar or a airtight container and um, let this sit overnight before serving them. So here's our vegetable pickle bowl that has been marinated in the water vinegar for a period of um, a few hours now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and transfer it. So I'm just going to try to move as much as I can in here. Make sure you uh, fill up the jar with the vinegar water. Make that, fill that all the way in. Close the lid and just let this sit overnight in room temperature. After one to two days, then you can put in the refrigerator, but it needs to be marinated. So here is a batch that I have made earlier so here i'm just eating it with rice because the vegetable it's already have season in here um, if you want more seasoning you can certainly add soy sauce to the rice that you're eating but let me just taste it and see still very crunchy let me get a bite of the chives and the ginger in there Perfect combination of all the flavor that's going on. The chai gives you that garlicky taste. The ginger provides with that zinginess taste. And it's, it's just perfect with white rice or fried rice. Very healthy, healthy dish. So here I have braised pork with a cooked egg on there. So let me get a bite of everything there. An egg, some rice, a little bit of our pickle, bean sprouts, the star of the show here. Let's see how this tastes. Very, very good. Fantastic. This jar right here, can last in the refrigerator, as I mentioned earlier, for up to four weeks. But it won't last four weeks in my refrigerator. I go through one of these jars a week. So. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, another way to use the pickle bean sprouts is to roll it into a rice paper roll. Here I am using uh, mixed greens, sliced cucumbers, braised pork, Fold in the end, and then the two sides, and then add in the pickle vegetables and firmly roll it in. If you are looking for a low carb, uh, gluten free dish, this one, guys, is perfect for you and so tasty too. The dipping sauce is the broth from the braised pork, and I just add in sriracha for um, spiciness. like and share this video and I hope to see you back here at the next video.